Greetings, and welcome to another OutSystems how-to video. My name is Andrew Duthie, and in this video, we'll learn how to use external JS code the React way. In a previous video on using JavaScript in an OutSystems application, I fell back on my long years of experience working with JavaScript and really kind of took the wrong approach, which thankfully was pointed out to me by an eagle-eyed coworker. So the simple steps here are I used a simple JavaScript library, which I brought into the scripts folder. But where I kind of went wrong was I used the on render event handler in this reactive screen. And inside that handler, I used some JavaScript to modify the inner HTML property of a couple of placeholders, name placeholder and rev name ph, both of which were part of the screen and drove some of the UI. This works fine. There's nothing really wrong with it, other than that it kind of goes against the React principles. In this video, we'll look at how I modified this application to really be more in harmony with React principles. You can watch the previous video by clicking the link in the description or the, clicking the video tile shown up above. We'll start as before in Visual Studio Code, where I have a simple JavaScript library. I've used the word simple as a keyword to be able to access this library so I don't pollute the global namespace. That simple is tied into what's called a closure or an ify, which exposes a couple of functions. Hello, which returns the word hello, comma, and a name and an exclamation point, and rev name, which uses the reverse function in JavaScript to reverse a string and return the reversed of that string. And then this return statement is simply allowing me to expose those two functions on this simple keyword so I can access those from within my application. Back in Service Studio, I've used the right click import script command to import my simple library. And again, if I double click here, you can see the JavaScript is just as we saw in Visual Studio Code. Once I have this library, inside of my screen, I've used the required scripts section to add scripts.simple library as a required script. I have a screen variable called name, which holds the name that I want to use to pass into that JavaScript. I have a default value for name. And then I have a placeholder on the screen for the name, as well as for the reverse name. The name is tied to a function in my OutSystems application called say hello. My rev name placeholder is tied to a function called reverse me. These functions are implemented as client actions with function set to yes. Say hello calls the hello function inside of my JavaScript. So I have an output parameter, which I'm setting to the value of simple.say hello and passing in the name parameter, which is tied to that name function at the screen level. Reverse me does essentially the same thing, just calls a different JavaScript function, and it sets the name out parameter to simple.revName, again, passing in the name parameter that's tied to the name screen variable. Jumping back to the screen itself, we wrap things up by tying the input name field to the name variable. So at this point, whenever the input name field is changed, that name variable changes. And since the name and, re and rev name placeholders are tied to that name variable, React will automatically recalculate the values bound to those fields and re-render the screen automatically. We don't have to actually do anything with the DOM. We don't have to change the inner HTML. React takes care of that on our behalf. So let's open this screen up and see what this looks like in action. When our screen loads, you can see that we have hello and our default value for the local variable, stranger. We also have the reverse value of that word stranger, and we have that value also bound into our text box. If I type in my name, Andrew, you can see that the UI updates automatically with each keystroke with no extra work needed on our part. 
So really that simple. We can bring in any JavaScript library that we want. We can use that. And as long as we follow the right patterns, React takes care of all of the updating of the UI for us. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this valuable. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to the OutSystems YouTube channel. And check out the other videos on our advocacy team hints and how to's playlist. You'll find dozens of videos covering a variety of development tasks. And again, thanks for watching.